Oh, hi there. The channel's not doing so good, so I thought I'll just, just stop putting effort into the videos and just say my terrible opinion about the controversial topics that are going on around right now. And since it's spooktober, I you know it's Halloween, spooky and all that, I, I thought I'd just talk about uh, urban spooks, which is the infamous analog horror series that's going on about some murderer and it's uh, coming to a lot of backlash uh, first because this kid is kind of an asshole and second because of some topics that are present within the series and now everyone's trying to be the uh, philosophical moral guru and say uh, hey is it going too far does horror needs a line not to be crossed and all shit like that. And I, I want to say no, okay? I don't think horror needs to have a line, but to have a limit that shouldn't be uh, crossed. But I think it's more important that whatever topic you handle, to handle it right. Because I can see what Urban Spooks was trying to do, right? I think he was trying to be serious and take inspiration from uh, real-life serial killers because there's been cases over the history of people who have done things so horrible that it, it puts this fictional series to shame, you know? Uh, Dylan Allen Cole, Albert Fish, or case of the the Ripper crew, or Junko of Ruta. Th those have been some really upsetting and really disturbing cases, which have actually happened. So, and again, th those things have been very horrible. And I don't mind if a fictional story takes such concepts. In fact, I sometimes the stories I've written, I've been inspired and taken scenes or things and concepts that uh, have actually happened, you know. It is a bit disrespectful to use uh, real-life tragedies in, 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 in your fictional stories, but it comes again how you handle this. So, to give you more context, um, I was walking back from work, you know, coming home, and I saw a poster like a, a placard with a cow and a farmer and it was advertising like local products and how it's healthier and better for animals and blah 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 and I, I saw it and I thought what if animals were like us you know what if they're like basically you know sentient and conscious and anthropomorphic what is base basically what if furries were real but still treated like animals and from that concept i kept thinking about it because it's just you know somewhat dark um upsetting thing to think about and i kept thinking about it kept working around and eventually i made a story which was sort of amalgamation of a detective story with blade runner and uh, furries, I guess, I don't know. And in this story, this, this detective is being asked by uh, a woman, an Anuit, I think I call them, the, 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 the furry people, I think I call them, yeah, Anuit. And she asks him to find her daughter because she's missing, and there's been more missing cases of young Anuit girls going around, and he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. And yeah, I can cover some stuff, and eventually uh, it's found out that there's an underground brothel uh, full of young animal girls, anthropomorphic girls, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, people just can come there and do whatever they want with them. You know? And basically, yeah, they go there, they use them, and when they're to quote unquote use up, they're, they're being chop up and you know turned into plus meat they're animals it's, it's still meat and it's a dark concept and I, I dare to say it's quite edgy it's probably one of the edgy stories i've ever written but um 
a whole scene, a whole thing is just at the end. The whole reveal, the whole disturbing scene of what happens about and reveal, it's just at the end. And the rest of the story I kind of tried to spend setting the tone and making you, f when it comes to the reveal, for you to be shocked, to say, wow, that's, that's disturbing, but at the same time, see that, yeah, I can see that happening in this world. And that I think Urban Spooks failed to understand. He failed to understand horror, he failed to understand uh, people, he failed to see why we find such shocking things disturbing. Because if I just started from the s no, beginning with that scene, and, and all the story was just about this, and rape, and sexual assault, and, and murder, and use, and God, no, it wouldn't have the same effect. And it's the same with Urban's book. We don't get to see the outside world enough. Or even better, let's take the, the, the real life example I, I, I mentioned in the beginning. The reason why they're shocking, the reason why they're disturbing, is because, well, first of all, they're real. You know, that's obvious, but most importantly, I think, is because we knew, we had this idea of these were just regular people, and we know they were regular people, but then they did things like that, and it's just that, that idea of this could have been my neighbor, my, my co-worker, hell, it, maybe even my family member, because, you know, we've seen cases such as um, I think it was a movie called Just Marvel and Just Evil about that the family member or someone who's just absolutely deplorable and disgusting. Urban Swokes is he tried to make a disturbing, realistic cop story and then ended up making a shock movie. Because I think that's why shock movies just don't work on me, and I think they're just garbage. They're garbage as a movie and garbage as as a horror movie. When everything is shocking, nothing is shocking. The way he handled the situation just doesn't work. It is, for example, uh, a scene with a boy named Tony, and there's the killer makes paintings of his victims, and there's a painting called like a factoid Tony or something like that. And you know, it's the implication that the, the killer used them as, you know, that. Uh, but then also it's revealed that he made like a photo of the killer somehow. Something with, by the way, the police is completely incompetent, which I guess it's pretty realistic to think about. You know, the fact that police is just incompetent is not a far stretch. But um, he somehow managed to take a photo of the killer. And he found out that, and he grabbed them, and he, he grabbed that girl, and they, like, sew them in half and stick them together, and it just also doesn't make sense. It's gross, yeah, it's very gross, but it, it doesn't make sense, because it implies whoever the killer is managed to get two people to cut them in half, not leave any trace, by the way, any mess behind, to sew them back together perfectly without, you know, then dispose of that part so it's never been found, but the other parts are found. It's, it's so stupid, it doesn't work, and it, it's not shocking anymore. It's just stupid, gross, and annoying, and bad. The Urban Spooks series is bad horror, it's not bad animal horror, even though it's, I mean. The bar for analog horror is not that high, you know, it's it's very low effort form of horror, but, you know, uh, for, yeah, it's, that's it, I don't know, uh, bye.